hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can get the cpu information inside python and that will be really helpful if you are writing a application which is heavily cpu intensive work uh, doing with uh, any type of processing so there you can actually watch the percentage of uses of your cpu and you can play around your application settings based on that so it's very easy to achieve that inside python and i will show you what all you need to do for that okay so before that i maybe i will give you a example of there uh, for this purpose i'm using two third-party libraries which is available in pip pip is the uh, where you can download all the packages for python so first i'm, I'm going to use is psutil it's very useful and very uh, good uh, uh, library which is available and it's also cross-platform so whatever you are uh, doing your code inside python that will be uh, you can easily use inside linux mac and windows as well and the second one which i'm going to use is the cpu info and that you can install using pip install pi cpu info and both of these third party libraries links you can find in the description of this video all right now let's just go and start this the live example first let me go and start with uh, my platform and guys platform is not a third party platform is the inbuilt uh, you can say that this is the core library of python and here let's just go and print first platform dot processor so with that you can get some amount of information of your processor and here you can see it's showing we are using intel 64 uh, model gen 1 intel so it's like there's a basic information we can get through platform dot processor but that is not enough for us we we want to get the frequency we want to get the actual name here which is intel core and also we need to see the actual percentage of uh, how much uh, percentage uses inside our uh, processor okay so for that now let's just go and import one of our library which we install import cpu info and now print cpu info dot get so when you go to get there will be two get cpu info and get info json let's just select get info uh, get cpu info and run this so with that you will get a dictionary of all the items involved uh, with the cpu information and here you can see the architecture bits counts and uh, brand so brand is the one which we are looking for so if anyone which you are interested and you want to display in, in your app you can just extract as you can pick item from the dictionary so all you have to do is just need to provide the key of the item and the value will be displayed there so brand and run this and here you can see that now our cpu uh, information which is like in this intel tm i7 2.7 gigahertz and we are getting that so that's we already getting here now let's just go and see about the frequency available here inside our cpu let me just call our another library which we import which is ps util and here let's just go first let's see the cpu frequency psutil dot cpu and frequency and let me just go and run this and let me just comment this so it will not distract us so here you can see that it's showing the frequency of my cpu is showing like 2701 which is uh, 2.70 gigahertz and there is an option called per cpu so here you can say per cpu true and if you pass this then you will get this is the per cpu frequency okay now let's just go and see something else which is now uh, we want to see the cpu count how many uh, cpu available here so print psutil dot cpu sorry cpu count 
okay right let's just go and run this and now we are able to see that we have four cpu and if you see inside our task manager here we see logical processor four but actually it's there is actually two processor which is uh here there you can see this is core is two so how are we gonna get that if we can set the logical false then it will show you the actual cores processor which you are having having in your cpu so it's actually two here you can see the cores are two and logical processors are four so now let's just go to our real magic number which is the cpu percentage real time cpu percentage from here and to get that let's just go and uh, let me just start a while loop because we always want to print that and here my cpu uses psutil dot cpu percentage and here the one argument which is very important is interval and here in interval you need to say uh, how much after how much second actually you want to print so for now let's just print two okay so then let's just go and run and 28.6 29 and this is getting the number from our cpu uses and it's basically two seconds delayed so it's not 100 percent real time uh, let's just stop this and uh, go one so now it will be one second delay let's see right now we have 26 32 so now it's almost closer to what we what we are seeing inside our task manager and this will really helpful for us to get the CPU uses and we can detect if our uses is going maybe beyond 90% 95% then stop the process so and uh, yeah I mean let's just do try this here so we have a while loop here and uh, this is our CPU uses and uh, this is CPU equals to this and uh, print cpu and uh, if cpu is more than for example 50 percent then uh, print and break okay so let's just go and run this as you can see right now we are 31 percent let's just run this and if we reach more than 50% and we already reach and you can see that our loop is break already so let's just go run it again and yes we reach the limit let's just go and increase this to maybe something like 70% uh, oh it will not reach 60% uh, will be fine run so right now I already reached the limit let's see if CPU is more than 60 then break oh it's now it's not so heavy intensive work maybe it will be if I run Maya so now I started Maya and my CPU will definitely goes up okay let's just see okay I reached the limit because my Maya is now starting that's why okay so that's it guys that's it for this video i hope you understand the concept of how you can get and utilize the cpu information inside python and that will be useful for your own app thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe this channel i will see you in my next video thank you